channel now usually if you're new here you will not realize that I usually do lifestyle vlogs and I'm in the garden and all over the place but once in a while I have a special occasion that I get to try on dresses for and the special occasion that's coming up now is my 40th birthday yes I know I don't like 40 <laughs> no I am so glad to be turning 40 I feel privileged to grow old um, and I feel very thankful that I've reached the ripe old age of 40 however I wasn't going to plan to have a party. I wasn't planning on having any kind of celebration, not because I didn't want to, just because, um, and not because I didn't want to celebrate growing old, but just because I thought, oh, it's just another day. Then I decided, why not? I'm born on Bonfire Night. It, the 5th of November this year landed lands on a Saturday. So I've decided to celebrate my 40th birthday um, with some friends and family. I was just going to be wearing my wellies, which I probably still will be for the fireworks, but I am going to try and find a sparkly dress to feel a little bit special on my 40th birthday. So let's get into trying some dresses I've got from various different places. And um, so let's see if we can find an outfit that will be fit for my 40th birthday. Okay, so I'm going to be trying on all these dresses with these tights, which are actually not tights. They look like sheer, sheer tights like this, but they're not. That's not actually my skin. That is the color of the inside of the tights. So they're more like leggings, which is great because it means you're not flashing. <laughs> so it's fine. And I'm also trying them on, all on with these shoes, which are just a pair of Marks and Spencer's low profile heels, which will be ideal for running around at a birthday party. Now, don't laugh at this first dress. This was the reason I wanted to go for sequins. It does not look like it looked in the photos. I will insert how I thought it was gonna look right here. This is actually from Lipsy, but I ordered it through Next. Um, and it just looks ridiculous. It just is far too sparkly. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful dress and the idea is great, but I just feel like a glitter ball. It's got no shape. It's got a, a string here that belts round to sort of bring you in at the waist. Um, I suppose you could put on your own belt as well if you wanted to, um, but no, this is definitely a no for me. Um, it is a beautiful dress though, so if you are looking for something that is quite bright and and garish as this, it's like, it is really, really bright and really sparkly. But it is a beautiful dress, however, just not the one for me. Absolutely not the one for me. It does have lovely sleeves where they come in a cuff and then it's puffy, which is quite a nice feature to give it a little bit of a dimension um, to it. But no, definitely not for me. Right, on to the next one. This is the one I thought was going to be a definite. So I am so glad that I ordered loads more because this is definitely not one that I'm going to be wearing. Okay, so this is the next one, which I thought was going to be a perfect one as well. Um, I was actually influenced by this one from someone on Instagram. It's from New Look. Um, it's black, but it's got a sheer section at the top here, which I'm not a huge fan of blocking myself off like this. Um, it does fit me nicely on the bust and it does taper in. I probably could put a belt on if you wanted to, but it's not meant to have a belt um, because it does have this lovely sequin detail all along the sleeves and on the hem at the bottom of the dress. It's a lovely length as well. It's not too short for a family sort of occasion. Um, I just think it doesn't have the sort of vibe I'm looking for. I just, the material, you know what it reminds me of? Do you remember those really cheap school trousers you used to get back in the day that had a bit of stretch in them? Do you remember those? It's got that material. And I'm not, I don't know if you can see what I mean if I come closer. It's that sort of material, you see it there? You can actually sort of get an idea. It's got a bit of give, but it kind of feels like that. And I just don't feel special in it, if I'm honest. It's a great dress. It's the sort of thing, if I had all the money in the world, I could actually keep it for um, for another occasion. You know, it's, it's Christmas day sort of material. You know, really baggy, you can eat your Christmas dinner in it. Um, it's a beautiful dress but I don't feel 40th birthday special, I feel amazing in it vibes. Um, so I think this one is a no, but it can stay in the contender pile if I don't find anything else, because I would be happy wearing it if I needed to. Now this one's coming across quite red on here. It's more of like a really deep burgundy, kind of the same color as my nails sort of color. Um, it's got this weird tag that if you remove this ribbon, then you cannot return it. So it kind of loops through the sleeve, um, but ignore that. Um, I do like how it feels. I do like how it feels 
it's got a nice sort of loose feeling to it. It doesn't feel, it's very, very baggy, very not restrictive at all. Not a huge fan of this. It reminds me of my dresses when I was a little girl, which I do love, but not for my 40th birthday. Um, I bought this thinking that maybe I should buy something that I can wear for another time. Um, and I've got a couple of meals coming up and I thought this would be lovely to wear. But I just feel like the pilgrim, the sort of pilgrim style sleeves is just not what I'm looking for for my birthday. And I'm not a huge fan of how... I just, yeah, um, it's not something that I think, wow. However, I do have another one in the sa exactly the same colour that doesn't have this ruching in the centre. And it's also from um, from AX Paris, which this was ordered via New Look, but the other one was ordered via Silk Fred. So they're both AX Paris, but ordered from different places. So I will try on the other one just now and see if it looks a little bit better. But it's a lovely shirt material. It's got a little collar at the top and buttons just down to the um, the mid midriff. Um, but it's a lovely material, sort of thin, but I think it would be quite a sweaty material. However, not for my 40th birthday or for any of my birthday meals. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, so this is another AX Paris one. Um, excuse the buttons popping. I would have to use um, tip tape to hold these buttons in place because over my bust, <laughs> this is a size 10, but as you can see, it's ruching at my bust. I would have to use tip tape to hold them. Um, it's a lovely dress and I love the way it, it looks beautiful. Um, I love that sort of feeling. It's quite short though. So for a day dress, it's fine for a night dress with my heels on. Um, I just don't think it suits my 40th birthday and I don't think I could get away with this as a day dress. I just feel so self-conscious with the fact that it is sort of ruching. Um, I could go for a bigger size, obviously, to fit my bust. Um, but it is a beautiful dress. It's got the collar um, detail again and buttons all the way down this time um, to the bottom of the, the uh, dress. Um, and it's gold hardware that's on it. But as you can see, my bust is just not wanting to stay contained. <laughs> oh, the issues. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't change them for the world. But um, yeah, I think this is definitely a no. And I did think I might keep it for an actual day dress. But no, I think this one, unfortunately, is I know. I'm getting a bit tired trying on, trying on all these dresses, but I do enjoy doing this. And I forgot how much I loved vlogging dresses. <laughs> right, I'm going to go try on the next one. Um, I probably would replace this little bow detail um, with a, my own belt, I think, if I was going to keep it. But no, this one's a no. It does have lovely um, ruched in sleeves with the use of a piece of elastic at the sleeves, which does give this lovely look to the sleeves but no it's definitely a no for me but it does fit really nicely in terms of how it fits my silhouette it does actually show it off quite well which is good okay so if you have watched previous videos and you will know that i did a dress try on for the premiere of outlander you'll know that this style of dress with the shoulder pads which i need to actually start because this one's not in properly and um, the shoulder pads and this sort of silhouette was the kind of dress that i chose for the last premiere um, and I love how this feels. This one fits me perfectly, sort of comes down over my bust. It wraps over, but then there's extra material under here that sort of tucks under, which I'm not really sure where it's supposed to go. So it sort of causes you to have this sort of um, lump over your stomach area. But it feels really comfortable to wear. It fits me really well. So this one is actually from, I ordered it through Silk Fred, but it's actually from Generique. That's what the label looks like. So it's actually through a company called Generique. And I've also got another one that I've ordered, which is a pinky color one. But I actually think this looks really nice and classy. And my sparkly one is lovely, but we're going out for a meal at a lovely restaurant. And the sparkly one's just that little bit too sparkly. I think this would be ideal with my nice fur coat. Um, I think this would be a lovely option and it's perfect for Christmas as well. The only negative, but this is the same as in the sparkly dress, but you don't see it as much in the sparkly dress, is there is a line where the seam joins down the back. But that's just one of those things that you have to just deal with, I think. Um, I would obviously put on nicer underwear underneath that would maybe be a little bit fitting, more fitting, but not for my 40th birthday, but maybe for my 40th birthday meal, this would be a lovely option to be able to wear. Because I do think that it looks really nice and classy without being too risque. I do like this one. Yeah, I think I really like this one for wearing for normal. I think, yeah, I think this is lovely. I think I'm going to keep this one as my dress for going out to eat on the green, um, for going out for dinner. I think it's a lovely option and I feel really comfortable in it, which is really nice because it's nice to find that. And then add on some Diamante earrings, really low dropped earrings. 
um, and that just sort of jazzes up. I think this would be perfect. Yeah, I like this one. So this one's a keeper, but not for my 40th birthday party, but for my 40th birthday meals out that I've got coming up. This will be the perfect outfit for it. What do you think? Do you like it? It looks really bright on here because I've got the light, but it's not as, oh, the shoulder pad's not folded in like correctly either. Um, but it's not as bright, it's not as shiny in real life, but it's just a lovely sheer sort of material, if you can see there. Not so keen on the fact it shows the cuffs and things, but I mean, that's just what you have to have on some of these dresses. Okay, so this is exactly the same dress from Genifique. Genifique, I think that's what is how you say it, Genifique. Let me just get the label. Where's it gone? <laughs> label is here. Oh, here it is. Um, let me just get it. Oh, it's stuck in my hair. Oh, the tribulations of having long hair. Yeah, this is from the same one, Genifique. No, Generique. Generique, good job, I checked, Generique. Um, so it's exactly the same dress. The last one was in violet, if you're looking for it, but I'll tag all of these dresses down below in the description box. But this one's in fuchsia. Beautiful dress again. And I think it just, it hugs me in all the right places. However, this is not really an autumn, winter kind of colour. I think the other dress I'll be able to wear for Christmas Day, this one is more a summer dress. Um, so this one's a no, but I love it as much as I love the other one. Um, and I just think it's got beautiful shape. Um, obviously, imagine it with my hair like this, lips to match, and nice diamond earrings, obviously, and a beautiful cuff with loads of diamond on it, um, and a fur jacket. So if you imagine that, you can imagine what the dress will look like. Ooh, now I really like this. This is the kind of idea I think I'm wanting to go for. It's navy. It has the sequins that I would like with the sparkly sequins, and I love how it's got this little detail at the top of the sleeve um, so that it gives it a little bit of... Um, definition rather than just being a, a plain skater dress and um, it's quite short but not too bad it's definitely not too short I do really like it it fits me perfectly this could be a contender I like it the shame it's navy though a lot of the decorations it's rose gold so I think the navy would be better if it's black so let's see I've got other ones that might be similar but this is the sort of idea that I'm looking for for my 40th birthday so this is a beautiful dress this is also silk thread um, and this would be a perfect dress for Christmas Day as well. If you're looking for a lovely sequin number that's not too flashy um, and it's just, it fits perfectly. So this is definitely a yes from me. Okay, so when I saw this in Silk Fred, I thought this was gonna be the dress. This is actually the second order. I ordered it in a 10 and it was so big. This is actually a six and I've still got loads of room because the idea is that you take out this little pouch at the back of the neck here and it's got a belt and you tie the belt round and have it sort of ruched up like so. I'm not going to take it out because this is a no for me. I do really like it. I think it sparkles really nicely in here in the light. The sleeves are sort of more opaque so you can see through it and it kind of buttons up like this, which is the same as at the back of the neck as well. Um, but it just feels like I'm wearing a bag. I think it'd be very comfortable and I think you could really dress it up and it is lovely, but it's not my one for my 40th birthday, but I do really like this dress. So if you're looking for one for a Christmas night that you want to be comfortable in, I think this could be a really good shout because it is really baggy. This is a six though. So bear in mind, bear in mind size sizing when you're ordering because the sizing is completely like being, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, crazy. This is now on to Boohoo. Now, um, I ordered some of these sort of styles dresses for the premiere before and I wasn't so sure about them because they like a dressing gown. It sort of flaps over, this one clips into place um, and it sort of gives an over crossover design with a belt in the middle. So it is very like a dressing gown. I maybe would swap out this for a different belt, go in the centre and it would feel less dressing gowny. But no, this just feels like a coat over the top. I feel like I should be taking this off to reveal what I'm wearing underneath. It does have the lovely, it's quite a long cuff um, and nice material underneath. Um, and the sequins do feel nice. They're not everywhere. You see there's gaps and you can see the velour through it. But this one is not for me. It does look lovely though. Um, and again, it's not a bad dress. There's nothing really wrong with it. I just feel like I should be going like this and taking off and showing, revealing the dress underneath. So this is a no, but I do like the Boohoo ones that have arrived. So let's try it on the next one. Okay, this is from Boohoo, but it's got the same sort of sequin style as that previous one or the last one from Silk Fred, where it sort of runs like this. It is beautiful and this light is really sparkly, but it doesn't really look like that in real life as much. Um, I love how fitted it is. 
it really shows off my figure, which is good or lack of figure, but I really like how it sort of shows that off. It fits nicely over my bust as well. Um, I quite like the high neck because I probably would wear down the earrings so it sort of um, negates the reason to wear a necklace, which is good. Um, I'm not feeling it though because I've already caught my arms on my dress already, like actually caught the sequin to detangle already. I've already had to do that. So I think it would be a nightmare during the night, but it's a lovely length as well. It's not too short, even though it is a short dress. Um, but no, it's on. Uh, we're getting closer. We're along the right lines, though. I think we're. Feel, I feel like we're getting closer, and there must be something in here that I can wear for my fortieth birthday. Yes, okay, so this one feels a lot classier, a lot more. Um, I don't know if it's because it's got velour. If you can see underneath, it's got velour under the sequins, so it kind of feels a little bit more expensive. I don't know if it actually is in price, but it feels a lot more special. Um, Oh, can you actually see through it a little bit? I don't know if you can, but it fits me perfectly again. Um, this could be a contender. I really like this. Um, it zips all the way up to the back, but I haven't managed to zip it all the way up to the back and clips, which kind of takes away, there's no detail in the back. It's kind of just one big tube dress. So that's the only negative that I've got for it. Um, if there's a little bit more on the back, it would be better. But no, it's a really lovely dress and it would be a contender, I think. Yeah, there's quite a few that are contenders. This is gonna be a difficult choice. But it does sparkle really nicely and it does have that velour touch, which is lovely. Right, on to the next one. Okay, so the reason I rushed on from the last one was because I knew this one was coming up and I thought this one look, might look really nice. It's the same dress with the velour underneath, but it has gold sequins. And I thought this was going to be a winner, but it's just a bit much. It's a little bit, a little bit too much. It looks really good in the video here, but in real life, there's sort of rose gold sequins. And I just feel that it's a bit, yeah, it's just a bit too much. It is a beautiful dress though. And I think for like a proper ball or like, you know, proper sparkly Christmas number, I do feel like a Christmas bobble. It does kind of feel like that, but it is a lovely dress. Um, and I do feel good in it. I do actually feel really good in it. Even though it's tight, it doesn't feel like it's restrictive. It's still got a bit of room in there, which I think would be good if you're having like a meal and stuff, but no. I don't think it is as slimming, not that I'm looking for it to be slimming, but it's it's not as slimming as the other ones because the black sort of detracted from it. I think it's just, no, it's a no, but it is a beautiful dress. This is also from Boohoo. Okay, this is a hilarious one. I do actually really like the sleeves. It's very, I haven't even bothered zipping it up properly because the slit I would have to sew because that just looks, doesn't look very classy at all. I do love the sort of, um, Dallas vibes that this is giving off. I think it'd be really good. Different bra, a little bit of a push-up bra would be fine. Obviously, we'd have to wear maybe a strapless bra because this does come over a bit. But it's just too much. Woohoo! I feel totally like the party vibe in this though. Like I could properly get dancing. I mean, brother, zipping it all the way up because this is definitely a no. But it does look really funky. I think if you've got the figure for this, like the Diana dress, you know, like the famous Diana dress sort of idea, you could pull this off for a party. It would look pretty funky, but it's definitely a no for me. Okay, so this is quite nice. I do feel nice in this. It's actually got metal and so the sticky sections just go against your skin. I think you it could be it could be a really nice dress, but and, and I like the contrasting zip at the back as well. Um, and I think if I pulled it right down and actually had it how it was supposed to be, it could be quite like a nice dress, but it's a family bonfire night with fireworks. I don't think this is really appropriate for it. So this is a no, but I do like it. it's got structure and everything. It's, it's well made. And I do think it'd be a really good party outfit if you were really wanting to go out on the town, but it's not for this event. But it's good to show you guys in case you've got a party coming up and you could wear the same dress. Okay, so I really like this one. Really like it. It's The sequins are sort of muddled. They're not in uniform, which I like because then it sort of throws off light. The only problem is it's really low cut for a family event, it's, but it looks really nice. It's got this kimono sort of look, which is like baggy and the sleeves are the same. So I really like how it feels. It's not too short, but it's short enough that it sort of hugs my figure, but it also because of the kimono sort of look, it cuts in here. So it gives a lovely look in the bottom half. It's just so low cut. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Bear with me, I'm gonna try something out. Yeah. Bear with me, I'm gonna try something. What do you think? I've turned it round. So now it's a low cut V-neck 
V-back dress, which I think looks so good. And the poofiness is now under my bust, so it kind of holds it underneath. The, the, the seam is under my bust now. The poofiness covers sort of my bust. It's a high neck, which means I can wear my Diamante earrings. And I just think that looks, this is the one, this is the one, the last dress, the last one, this is the dress. And the, sle the, the sleeves are sort of ruched at the top as well because it's supposed to be on the top of your shoulder going onto the back. It sort of comes forward. I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, wait, I'm got, wait I've got accessories. Let me get my accessories. So this is what I'm going to be wearing with it. Let's try it out. Oh, yes. Oh, guys, I'm getting excited. This is the dress. This is the dress. What do you think? Oh, yeah. This is going to be a bit annoying, though, because this does feel like it's going to fall down. I do have a little brooch that I thought about pinning it on with, but I didn't know if I would need it. Let me try. Right, this is a little antique brooch. A little antique brooch that I got in Glasgow, just off Byers Road, back when I was a student. Because I knew that in 20 years time, I could pin it on to my dress for my 40th birthday. How funny. There we go, that's it pinned on. So that's not gonna move anywhere. Oh guys, I love it, I love it. Got my I'll put my tiara on, I'll go my Diamante earrings, and then these are my nails that I just got done from Susie. I'll put lipstick on to match. And then it's a V-neck. Oh, I love it, guys. And I kind of always turn it around to be a low V-neck in the future, but I love how it just sits on my bust, but sort of gathers un uh, underneath. And I love the shoulders. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. What do you think? Please comment down below if you love it. Um, and I will add what I look like on the night at the end. But I absolutely love it. Oh, yes. I found the dress for turning 40. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and all the chaos of dresses. If you could only see what it looks like behind the scenes, it's a bit of a nightmare. I might insert a photo. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different dresses. So I've kept two, this one and the plum one, um, sorry, the violet one. I've kept the violet one for our meals. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Um, I will insert pictures from my 40th birthday, which will have happened by the time this video is edited. Um, and I will put in what I actually look like on the night. Um, so let me know if you liked what it looked like. But until the next time, guys, love you lots. Bye.